Hello and welcome to the second part of the PowerView tutorial. In the second part, you will learn how to plot our line and crop data at a specific location or extract data in a transient simulation. Let us start. The next filter that I would like to introduce here is the prop data. You can choose prop on this bar, plot selection over prop location. When you choose the prop location, it needs a point to introduce. You can introduce the point by selected by mouse and then press P on your keyboards. If you apply there, then you can see the point and the velocity and the pressure if you go to the next time step the value could be changed here and just as an example you can go to the another time step and you can see the difference between this value you can also set the point here so you can change it easily if you change this one you can also first apply and then the velocity and pressure field uh, is changed at the spreadsheet view so uh, you can also do it by using the prop location function object in the open form. The next is the plot over line. If you need to plot the data over a specific line, for example, here you can use this filter. I chose it from the first and I press apply and let's see what does happen. It try to plot the pressure and velocity magnitude on the y and also the the position on the x. Let's see and check it again. It needs two points as you see here. And if we click on that, then we can see the first point is here and maybe the next on the corner. Yes, we can change it and set it the y axis to to be more. To be more appropriate for for this study okay i change it to here you can also set the point you can easily change it uh, no problem about that if you would like to see you can uh, hide the first one the moving cylinder and then load it again okay here you can here you can if you click on the plot you can change it the properties for example, the resolution, uh, you can decrease it to the 200. And also it used the point data. The X array name is the arc length. You can change the X array name to the Y position. And so you can change it to the point Y. Okay. Your, you can choose also the variable here. We need just the velocity magnitude. Maybe it's better or you can also choose the UY. It's up to you. Maybe for me, the UX is better. The line style, you can you can set it here. If you select the UX, then you can um, set it the line thickness. If you increase it, you can see. And the type, you can choose the dash and mark style. If you need it, you can put the plus on that. But I prefer to set to the noun. And chart style is the bottom and the left. You can change it to the bottom and right if you have further line chart or further plot. Okay, for now the bottom and left is good. The title is you can set it the velocity, just velocity. And you can show also legend or also disappear it. You can also set the left axis. You can say U met per second. And then you have the Y legend for that one. Uh, you can also set the the X axis that we chose here on the Y direction. So uh, also it is possible to use larger scale and other options you can check it and easily and also uh, use it to plot the data you can also save it if you click on the that that one and save the uh, screenshot if you set the a name to that figure you can save all views or just a specific view that i mentioned it here 
and if you set the resolution and then press ok you will find a new figures on the corresponding directory as you see here i again plot the velocity in the x direction at this section of this channel as you see and uh, now i want to add another plot to this, uh, this existing um, plot in this chart view in this view let i select again the line chart plot our line and here i press apply i come here and for this one um, i chose the plot of our line number one as a reference i set it a copy from this one and paste on the second F and for the, the other properties for the display option i again repeat it and now we have the same plot here but i would like to, to change the cross section that i want to uh, show the velocity so i change it to the here and you can also easily set the x x value for this cross section so you can see we can also delete it this one we can see we have two different sections with two different velocity value and of course we can change the color of this plot we can the red we can also even change the the style of this line like this one we have a full line as you see here and or fillet line but for the the second we have a dashed line as you see here now it seems much better than the previous plot so you can also extend it to extract the data over different line and different section now i want to use this filter the plot selection over time as it is obvious when i want to use this one uh, it it uh, take a long time for here we have 500 time steps so i press no and at the first i need a selection you can select the point from these toolbars for example for the point you can press d and then select the point just as an example i select the point here after that if i choose this one plot selection, uh, selection over time I press yes and let's see what does happen after a while as you can see after a while it can also plot the data over the time the x-axis is the time and the y is the pressure and the magnitude of the velocity now you can also evaluate the changes in the velocity and the pressure maybe you can also improve the quality of this plot and by changing the x-axis label and setting a title over this plot on the plot selection over time and you can find the id of this point that you selected and also the type of the data that we are gonna to read we have a raw data that extracted over the time as i explained it and you can set the x array to the time or other variables available here and even you can uh, set the color for the pressure maybe the green is is better maybe just and you can also set the thickness three or maybe to a much then you can also use dot or even dash dot dash double dot you can set the marker on that you can also show the minimum maximum over that i set it the pressure over time as the title of this plot and you can also change it uh, it doesn't matter it's up to you and which palette do you want to show on your publication you can also set the axis for the left to the p with the dimension of the pressure you can also add the other the other variable like velocity here and we can also have a multiplet over the over the time so yeah, here you can also change the left axis range from the minus 5 to 35 and you can also set the automatic value Arrange for this data. For the bottom arrange, also you can do it.
you can even search for the legend on the search and set a prefix for that for example that as a test then we have time.p but i suggest to leave it and you can also change the location of that you can bottom right you maybe bottom left and top right you can also change the style of that i prefer to use times font style and also a bit maybe we need a bit further size in that or even use bold style or italic it's up to you if you would like to save the data you can select on the chart and then on the file and save data you can set a name then if you press ok and hit i prefer to set 9 for the precision and using the scientific notation and the right time steps then i press ok and on the my case directory you will find here a data set if I open it, you can see all of the data here for the that corresponding point that I selected. At the end, you can see all of the data for the velocity pressure, for the location and position for that corresponding point. Here we have the time up to 500 time steps we have all of the data here and then you can also pass process this data but uh, by no plot or maybe python or something else at the end i would suggest you if you want to see and access to the source code of this tutorial you can visit our website hyperlysium website you can also subscribe our channel in the youtube to be updated about the new tutorial and video if you have any question please feel free to ask me and until the next be safe and goodbye